Clara! Yo, what's up? Oh, I, I love how she casts this big brother. That's so sweet. Big brother, are you free lately? Oh. Ah, uh, of course. What's the matter? What's up? <laughs> Actually, the robot setter has been has been met with some issues recently. Big brother, come have a look, please, if you have time. No, babe, I'll be right there. I hope that magic on. Thank you. Oh, big brother. I will be waiting for you at Mrs. Varog. Oh, this is a companion mission. Oh shit, bro. Hello everyone, and in today's video, I'll be doing Clara's uh, companion mission. So if you do enjoy it, make sure to like and subscribe. So this is part one of the two parts of it, because... So, we're going to be doing part one today. And it's ask Clara about the trouble in the robot settlement. I am quite excited for this. Oh, we're going... Literally to like... Is this like her house? I think, I think this is like her house, I'm pretty sure. Hey, Perkins, how you doing? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, this is the rat. <laughs> Be careful, Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Alright, is this a like, their house? I think it might be. I've never really thought about it, but. The thief has stolen parts again? Oh, How God, am I going to track down this crook? Oh, jeez. Clara's oh, wrong. It's you. There have been a few unusual thefts in the dwelling over the past few days. The vagrants say that the parts they worked so hard to obtain have completely vanished. They're worried that there's a thief in the dwelling. It's always thieves, I tell Despite you. Despite our thieves. investigations, no and one Lucas. has been able to track down the thief. What's even stranger? is that the thief appears to be only interested in stealing parts and doesn't care about other valuable items. Could be make it like a machine the or something, maybe. The vagrants had no choice but to ask Mr. Sfarok to look into it, but he still hasn't found anything. I investigated the matter myself, but I came up empty-handed. Jeez. I'm baffled. What a strange thief. He could be building like something to maybe compete with Svarog type thing. Duh, we could get to Are you together. also here to look into this case? I guess I'm out. if we so, work yeah. together, we can uncover some clues that I missed. It's just... I haven't found enough clues yet. The thief is really tricky. They haven't left any traces in the dwelling. Oh, I heard the vagrants on patrol last night ran across the thief again. But I haven't had time to look into it. Should we go ask them? Uh. Jeez, you go that with her. sounds kind of weird. Okay. But actually. Okay, I think it's good. Cool too. I thought that was like the bad option for <laughs> now, a second. Let's get started. I I don't know. The other one sounded way too professional. <laughs> I don't know. Wait, let me quickly um, adjust the volume back to four. So, wait, oh god, we're going over here. Okay. Good that she thinks it's cool. <laughs> Good that she thinks it's cool. Hello, Eric. I think we found a thief. I think we found it. Sir. How are you? I heard you saw the thief who stole the parts last night. Oh, you saw Can them? Can you tell us what happened? Ah! Who's there? What oh. happened? Clara, it's you. I thought it was... You scared the living daylights out of me. It was who, the thief? I did see the thief last night, but who is this person next to you? You haven't heard my name? I am. I am the passionate trailblazer. Trailblazer? Oh, I okay, know. He's had the You're man. the outsider who's made a name for themselves around town, right? Oh, wow. I feel way better knowing that a big shot like you is here to catch the thief. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. I'll explain what happened last night. Just let me gather my thoughts first. Okay, what if he's okay. the thief? So, 
Last night, I was on patrol when I bumped into the thief stealing the parts. Then, then, I, I just... Ran? Why do you sound so terrified? <laughs> I was so scared. It was dreadful. What? What? I was cold and hungry while on patrol last night, so I decided to return to the dwelling and heat up some leftover It's just a for thief, snack. like... But sounds like you're like a the horror tent, shit. The thief silhouette scurried across my vision. I couldn't see oh, the thief's like face because the tent was so dark, but I could tell he wasn't a nice guy. <laughs> because when he turned to flee, he swung a knife right across my face in that moment okay I that makes really sense why he's dead i was going to die <laughs> that makes sense. i could feel the blades chill on my cheeks and smell its rusty scent the weapon that fella had was definitely a metal one that's the only thing i'm certain of also i saw the outline of him in the dark the fella's head was absolutely square yes you heard me square Okay, this sounds like a robot, bro. Can you believe that? Someone with a square head? It was truly terrifying. Or maybe he's just uh, a square head. Oh my god, please. I can't carry on. <laughs> I guess it could oh, be a clue. You're right. I see. I'll yeah. turn it down. Sir, please hmm. take a deep breath. So, the thief was armed with a metal weapon... And had a square head. Um, square head. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Correct. Right. Yes, that's correct. Maybe. Hmm. Has to be I'm like struggling a. Struggling to like, make sense of these clues. A robot. Do you have any thoughts? Working for the person. Uh. Crazy <laughs> king. Ah. Uh. Uh, which one do I click it? Uh, I mean, it's not gonna change anything, but... Don't... Ah, uh, not really. Is there anything else you noticed? I'm sorry. I was too scared. When a shadow leaps out at you, who could possibly pay attention to such tiny details? It seems that's everything. Hmm. We now know one of the culprit's physical traits, and that he is extremely violent. But how can we track him down? Ah, uh, yes! Sure, I remember one person. something. While the culprit was hurrying yeah. to escape, he knocked something over. He may have left some clues or <laughs> something. This is a crucial clue. Let's go investigate the crime scene together. I think he ran that way. No one has touched the crime scene, so any traces he left behind should still be there. Okay. Please, catch the thief for us. Okay. Uh... Over here. Wow, so many details. So a stra uh, erupt uh, scratches left of the battle we see to be done by a metal weapon. The end of the scratches points to a distant Take place. Take a look at these marks. These are very suspicious. I can't. I can't. Uh, could they have been left by the culprit? They point in that direction. Let's go take a look. Can I just say, so in Clara's outfit, kind of, for some reason, kind of reminds you of, like, Santa Claus. <laughs> the red and the white with the puffy, like, white bits. It just reminds you, I don't know. Oh, wait, I have to click this. Bring me down. There you go. Here. Few people would come to this place, but you see uh, some scratches of the ground snaking their way through. And look at these! How unusual! They don't appear to have been left by a human. I, kn I, th I thought it'd be a robot. Like, square head, it's immediately obvious that it's probably a robot, you know? <laughs> so. The I thought it was running away from me. Here. I guess we'll have to look around for other clues. This is where the mechanical waste is disposed what of. What if it's though. one of those? Could it be? And the, he thought the knife was the claws, maybe. Yeah, we don't want to alert oh, the culprit. Okay. 
I'll follow you. Let's split up. Wait. What's that noise? Uh Oh shit. We need a strategy. Nothing going on here. Oh it's shit, that's a big chest. Tiny oh, robot? Is Wait, it what? searching for something? But I don't remember Mr. Svarog issuing an order like this recently. It looks like it's carrying the vagrant's missing parts. And those tracks and metal scratches we noticed earlier. V doesn't appear to be human. Shit, really? Ah. Uh, remotely controlling a robot to still pass. What a genius crew. It does have a scrap, but. Hmm. That would be quite strange. Yet. Such a scenario can't be ruled out. They're probably programmed to steal similar parts. Doesn't appear to be a Bellabob creation. It looks like it's been welded together from random scrap metal material. Oh, no, it's the same to me. Oh, huh. it appears to have a small mechanical arm. This thing? Uh, no. It's noticed us. Ah, oh, shit. I, human, injured. No. Hurt! Please don't! Uh... Try uh, do you speak I, robot? I don't understand what it's saying. But it Sounds like doesn't appear to, to be trying to flee or attack us. It appears to be trying to say something. I... Human... Please... Don't hurt. Is there a human behind? Is it front? trying to say... Please don't hurt me, humans. Human parts. Huh? Need repair. Need you need human parts. Town. Fuck, bro. Parts need 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 hurt. Don't. It appears to have a malfunction, but mm. I think I can understand it. It seems that it needs these parts, and. It's begging us not to hurt it. I... I've never seen a robot with this kind of malfunction before. What happened to it? We haven't had this right, but, but it... But it, um... But it must return the past the small robot appears to want to communicate, its speech is all scrambled. Perhaps there's an issue with its language module. This little guy probably can't understand what we're saying either. Run! Escape! Open! Fire! Workshop! What? Chase! Don't! Uh, it's running away! No! We can't let it escape! It we still has it's... the vagrant's parts! Still there for me! What should we do? We gotta stop it! But please don't be too rough on it! I'll figure out a way to repair it later! Oh! Oh Jesus! I thought we were going to chase or something! Hurt! Pain! I don't no, think I have the characters for this. Don't pain suffer. Sorry. Parts. Sorry. Ah, uh, fuck. No, I've had to press brace to skip it. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. Hurt. Suffer. Pain. No. Pain. Sorry. Sorry. Pain. Hurt. Sorry. Suffer. Sorry, sorry, pain, sorry, ouch, Jesus. pain, sorry, why? Interesting. Weird though. Sorry, pain, suffer, sorry. Okay, please stop saying sorry for the love of God. Oh God. It seems to have stopped working. I don't understand what just happened. Was it saying... Yes, but why? I feel bad about this. I guess we should return this little fella and the parts. I think I can. Oh, yes, Fox. I'll repair it. Oh, and if I can't, finished. I'll ask Mr. Sparg for help. He always knows what to do. Okay. Bro, that robot was like. Dying, bro. All right. 
Did you lift up by your sub? Jesus Christ. Oh, did we help? Initiating assessment of the robot's condition. Please wait, Clara. It's fucked. While Mr. Svarog is assessing this little fella, let's give it a quick checkup ourselves. Um. Uh, hmm? This paint job and these custom parts, and the way the parts are attached, it's all quite strange. But one thing is for certain. This little fella is not under remote control. He's operating entirely of his own accord. Hmm. Its design is, well, unique. I've never seen a robot to make with a design robot? like this before. It really seems like something that was thrown together rather quickly. It must be like a, the its creator. creator most likely didn't consider whether the system would function properly or not. Yeah, it only probably made it to only to function to like take um steel parts. Is it a failed robot pet creation that has been abandoned? But if it's a pet, then why would it gather parts itself? I think I've heard of the term robot pet. <laughs> yes. I've heard that some vagrants in the dwelling keep the little robots they find as pets. Oh, I some vagrants also make modifications to little, their though. pets, which Fuck they you. call Told pet upgrades. Pets <laughs> like that are pretty rare, but some of the folks who have them have formed a small community to share ideas. Some are interested in nurturing robots. Others force them into battle. Oh if shit. If my memory serves me right, the parts this robot little fellow stole were originally me. designed for that kind of pet upgrade. Uh battle each other, that's that's uh, uh I have lots of hmm. This robot pet phenomenon really gets to me. Um I'm sorry. I just suddenly felt some strong emotions. Let's get back to work on I repairing mean, the small robot. That's fine. This Jack's placement is oh God, dog. odd. The chip is buried deep inside. If you don't look closely enough, you won't even find it. Assessment of the robot's condition is complete. The shell damage is estimated to be 98.2%. Oh, I hit it too hard. Assessment tonight. concludes that a total recovery is impossible. It is recommended that the robot's external shell be removed and replaced, while keeping the outer circuitry and related transmission devices. You can always rely on Mr. Svarog to come up with a brilliant idea. So, I guess we'll have to go find a new robot shell to fix it, right? Uh, I'll go to... <laughs> Where we go, hmm. I'm Jeez, not sure if one. anyone sells this kind of thing. However, there must be some robot shells lying around the machine graveyard. Everyone calls it a graveyard, but there are actually lots of useful parts buried there. I'm gonna return the parts to the vagrants first, then I'll check on the little they still get me to grab, right? Can I trust you to find a shell in the machine graveyard, big brother? I, I, I'm an expert at sketching. <laughs> really? You could have what it takes to be a prospector. Then... I'll entrust this task to you, big brother. Look for right. Toby at the front entrance. His appearance is... crude, but he's the robot most familiar with the machine graveyard. Just follow Toby. Okay. Um, do they have anything else to say? Speak! Okay, don't worry. Alright, Toby, where the fuck are you? Wait, where? Oh, down here. I mean, I mean, the appearance looks fine to me. I maybe have low standards, but the appearance looks fine to me. Low standards for robot. I didn't think I would ever say that all. <laughs> Yo, my dude, what's up? Oh. Hello, guest of Miss Clara. Please do as you wish. It's my honor to serve you. So can you show me the way? Miss Clara has assigned me the task of planning your sightseeing route in the machine graveyard. I will guide you down the path. Thank you. So you're gonna fucking go? Thank you. <laughs> Are you gonna Would move? Would you like to engage in super speed mode? If so, please confirm by spinning counterclockwise ten times. Then clockwise by 270 degrees. What the fuck did you just say? 
Okay, let's investigate. Did our first destination. This model is known as the Dire Wolf. Yeah, this boat. Right. After it Surprise. sustained piercing damage during a battle with another robot pet, which caused the chainsaw's fuel tank to burst. Oh. Robot pet battles sound a little frightening. <laughs> what if the they inside like, of the armor is a charging. total mess due to being melted what by if the heat? they like betray you? Unfortunately, it appears to be useless. We are on our way to the second destination. Please take a seat, buckle up, and hold tight. What the fuck is say like that for? Caution! You have exceeded the speed limit. Please obey Bellabog traffic laws. On the road, safety is the top priority. I'm sorry. We have arrived at our second destination. Okay. This module is called the Beetle, which is the same as mine. This machine was scrapped because it accelerated erratically for 7.1 kilometers after it incorrectly interpreted a command, causing the engine to catch fire and the core module to melt down. Oh, jeez. That is such an odd reason to be scrapped. <laughs> However, the shell appears to be in good condition, so I'll bring it with me. So maybe the same trip robot. has concluded. Please keep an eye out for vehicles approaching from the back or sides, as well as enemies and automatons. Your trip dog. has concluded. I appreciate Woo. you putting your. It's coming for animals to bolt, but have you seen a robot? Trust uh. in Toby. A five-star review for this trip has been automatically generated for you. You're welcome. Great. Uh, I didn't. I. I don't know if I'll rate it five stars, but. <laughs> Bro, it just rate it. Just rate itself. You're still hiding there. Jesus, bro. Okay, we got the stuff back. Clara, it's time for a break. You shouldn't repair machines when you have negative emotions. It's bad for your physical and mental health. Don't worry, Mr. Svarag. I'm fine. Oh, you're back already. Yeah. How did it go? Did Toby help you find a shell? And the new shell to clock. This shell. Hmm. That's it what I was saying. It doesn't appear to be the same design as this little fella's. But it shouldn't matter. The structures of these small robots are nearly identical. Thank you for bringing this to me. I'll just take the parts of this one. Again. I finished extracting that chip from the small robot. Now, all that's left to do it's is move small. all the circuitry into the new shell. This rope is like two times taller than... Patch, I said the robot's core module into the new robot shell. Although its appearance has changed a lot, oh, it just changed. I think we did a good job. Oh, okay. Mm. Just like that. But what I just did... Is it any different from those pet upgrades that the vagrants perform? Not compatible. Incompatible. Oh. Huh? It's making a strange sound. Does it not like the bodies we put it to? Incompatible. In. What's going on? Is it malfunctioning? Incompatible. In. Com. Incompatible. In. Compatible. Incompatible. 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 Oh. Risk level high. Clara, get away now. I think we should have gave it the same body. Brother, watch out. It's out of control. Oh, but I thought we were going to see it blow up. Incompatible. 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 Terminate. Terminate. Not to hit it again. Not to find it again. Phew. That was close. Fortunately, Mr. Svarak and Big Brother acted fast. Yeah. Why did the little fella... Was there a compatibility issue? Probably. Assessment. 
The system on the chip and the new hardware are incompatible, causing the robot to behave erratically. The current issue has been resolved. Risk level low. Alert lifted. It appears to have adjusted to its new shell after the battle. That's great. Okay, that's but good. I'd like to keep a closer eye on it for a while. Compatibility tests should take a few days. Hopefully, it'll be all back to normal by then. Hopefully. I'm also curious about where this little fella came from. Could you please come back later, Big Brother? I need to look into something. Sure. I may require your assistance. I right, guess see you tomorrow. Thank you, Big Brother. I'll text you when this little fella is fixed. Mr. Sparrow. Okay. I'd like to give this little fella a name. Any ideas for a good name? Accessing name database. Search results. Ah. Abigail. Ada. Addison. I should come back to Clara later. I mean, that's what she asked. Oh, that is uh, part one. Oh, shit. Okay. Godfather. The fuck? Thought, I thought that word for something different. Uh, all right, let's... Can we speak? No, little robot? Are you good? Looks like it hasn't gone back to normal yet. I should come back later. Yeah, you probably should. So that is uh, Clara's um, first part. I haven't locked. I haven't unlocked the second part yet. I think I have to go through more of um, these. <laughs> I think I have to go through these, and and then I'll probably eventually get there. But I've got a long way to go until I complete all of these. So next stream, I will do more. So next stream, I mean, this is going to be released after I do the stream. But for the next stream, I'm going to be doing like Honkai Impact Third and going through the messages again. Hopefully be another long a long stream, but yeah. But I hope everyone did enjoy. Uh, make sure to uh, like and uh, subscribe. I did I did like this. This was like quite, this was like more of a cute one. And of course, like there's a thief, but I feel like we'll be figuring out what the thief, who the thief actually is. Like the culprit um, in part two. But yeah. So we'll need we'll need to come back here eventually to fix the little robot. Um, but looks like it hasn't. Yeah, I hope everyone did enjoy, and yeah, I guess I'll see everyone in the next one. Bye!